Yeah, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be looking at the composition of employment income and uh, income tax. Yeah, we shall look at what employment income comprises of. Yeah, employment income comprises of the following amounts according to section 19 of the Income Tax Act. Yeah, first is that it comprises of wages. Wages are those daily payments. They pay you on a daily or they pay you per work done. Then salary, it's monthly, leave pay, payment in lieu of leave, overtime pay, fees, commission, bonus, allowance, allowance in terms of entertainment, duty, utility, welfare, housing, medical, or any other. They are regarded as employment income. Then another composition of employment income we have is the value of any benefits in kind provided by or on behalf of the employer. Those benefits that you receive but they are not in monetary terms they are also regarded as employment income. Then the amount of private or personal expenditure discharged or reimbursed by the employer. If the employer pays the personal expenses of an employee, they are also regarded as employment income. Then employment terminal and retirement benefits. If you're retiring and they give you some benefits or some company, it is regarded as employment income. Insurance premium paid by the employer for the employee or his dependents. It is also regarded as employment income. Then payment in respect of change of employment or contract terms. It is also employment income. We also have discounts in shares allotted to an employee and profit or gain on disposal of such shares. If they discount on the shares that are allotted to an employee, that discount is called, also called employment income. Then the amount of any gain derived by an employee on disposal of a right or option to acquire shares under the, an employee share acquisition scheme. It is also termed as employment income. So it should be noted that all or any of the above combination comprise of employment income. Yeah, so that was all about the composition of employment income. Thank Under the composition of employment income, we looked at benefits in kind provided by an employer to the employee. So let's first define what benefits in kind is all about and look at it in details. A benefit in kind is the facilitation, not by way of cash, it is not in cash form, by an employer of an employee as part of past, present or future employment terms. And such benefits need not have been in the written employment term. So we shall look at the taxable non-cash employment benefits that are provided by the employer to the employee. Private use of official motor vehicle in case an employee uses the office motor vehicle for his personal use it's a taxable benefit in kind then provision of domestic servants utilities utilities for domestic purposes it is also a benefit in kind that is taxed then meals refreshments entertainment they are also taxed then we also have relief of debt obligations or interest in case the employer reduces on the debt of the employee to make it easier for him or her to pay the debt. That is also a taxable non-cash employment benefit. Then provision of loans at a rate below the statutory rate in case the employer reduces on the rate at which he provides the loan it's also regarded as a taxable non-cash payment. Then provision of property by employer to employee. It is also taxed. Then provision of residential accommodation. You give them where to stay. And any other benefits as determined by the commissioner. So those are some of the benefits in kind that are taxed. Or the taxable non-employment benefits. The taxable non-cash employment benefits. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and watch my next video. We shall be talking about the employee's relief or employee exempt income.